I was watching Masha and the Bear. Mommy called me and asked me why there were so many mistakes in my schoolwork. I told her that since the past few days, I could not see the blackboard. She said we have to visit the eye doctor. So we decided to visit Arvind Eye Hospital, Coimbatore. Let me show you exactly where it is on Google Maps. Tada! Here we are, Arvindai Hospital, Kovai. Walking into it, we saw it was so crowded. So many patients, so many departments. Just like platform number 9, three quarters at the King's Cross. At the reception area, we gave our details to our sister. After filling in some forms, I was asked to go to the pediatrics department. Here I went down the stairs. Landed in pediatrics finally. First off, I visited a room full of very cheerful sisters who played number games with me to check how well I could see. At first, I could not see anything clearly at all. For the lines I could not see, they gave me magic glasses such that I could read clearly up to the last line. through a colorful play area. It had lots of interesting toys to play. Play castle, swing, toy cars. The best part was the night sky painted on the roof just like the enchanted ceiling from Harry Potter. Mummy promised me that I could play here if I behaved well. And so behave I did. smiling doctor welcomed me and asked my name and also who my favorite cartoon character was. Then my mama explained to her that I was having trouble reading at school. She seated me on a chair to look into my eyes through a big machine which beamed light into my eyes. She also said I would need to wear glasses to see objects from far away. Now I would need an extra test with drops being put into my eyes to recheck my glass cover. They told us that the drops would take about half an hour to act during which I would need to keep my eyes closed. The friendly white sari clad sister told my mama that because of the effect of drops, I would be unable to read for two days. Not that I'm complaining, but the perfect excuse to skip homework. I saw that one little girl next to me was wearing a really cool looking pirate badge. So I asked the sister if I could get one for myself. But she told me that this is for children who require help with lazy eyes. So that their sight improves. Then I met the other girl of my age who came sat beside me. I noticed that she had this funny way of looking. So 
scratch that, one eye appeared to look at me, the other one at mommy. And I was really confused how she did that. I asked mama about it. Mama said it was something called squinting eyes. It could be corrected by an operation. A very tiny, just born baby was brought to get his eyes checked. So I caught hold of a doctor and asked her what was going on with the baby. So she told me that newborn babies sometimes need to check up to see if their eyes are completely grown or not. Another couple of kids came in with their papa, having white color in both their eyes. It seems the white color was due to cataract, which can be treated by surgery too. And what's more, their papa had undergone one when he was a little child too. Now my eyes are really blurry. The doctor again shone light into my eyes to see back of my eyes. Also called the retina, it was a little too bright at first but it got over before I even knew it. All is well. The doctor told me that I need to wear glasses all day long. I was up for another checkup in six months. She also told me how important it was to maintain good habits such as eating my fruits and veggies, avoiding too much TV and my mama's cell phone, regular exercise or playtime just like I enjoy. to do is go to the glasses section to order my new specs. We went to order my new glasses. Now it was really difficult to choose one because there were so many good ones. The large red one, a round pink one, a tiny blue one, a funny yellow one. Finally, I choose this blue one. So, isn't this really cool, folks? Folks, hear me and hear me good. Hospital visit is not always scary, especially not with the eye doctors. Now I'm seeing better than ever before thanks to my new glasses. So long, folks. all enjoy this video. So I am Dr. Kalpana Narendran. I head the Pediatric Ophthalmology Department in Aravindya Hospital, Coimbatore. Pediatric Ophthalmology is a subspeciality of ophthalmology and we see children from the age of 0 to 15 years. Why is it important to screen children? Because children can be born with eye diseases, it's called congenital eye diseases or as they grow they can acquire eye diseases. It could varying from a congenital cataract, a refractive error, or it could be crossing of eyes or squinting, what we call uh, colloquially. So it's very important. If you look at the Western countries, it's mandatory for all the kids to have a preschool evaluation. Whereas in our country, the awareness is still not there. So it's very important, especially in this era where we see a lot of premature children. So prematurity can affect their eyes. And also as they grow, they can develop refractive errors and other problems. So it's better to have our kids to have a preschool evaluation because sometimes children as they grow and any blindness in these kids or any problem in the eye sometimes can, if not treated at the right age, we call it rather the critical age, which is from zero to eight years of age. If it is not treated at that period, sometimes it can cause irreversible blindness. And I think this video gave you a lot of information. So going for eye checkup is, is, is it's a fun thing. 
so your kids will really enjoy and please take this message and also spread it to your friends it is very important to have a preschool eye evaluation in children